So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, a lot of Terence Crawford fans have attacked me, calling me a bud hater, saying I'm a hater on Terence Crawford. Guys, if you've seen my channel for a long time, you know that I don't take sides. I just say it how it is. Uh, I say it how it is. Uh, I have no ill feeling towards Terence Crawford in the sense that I would, pit, I would, you know, want to downplay him or be a hater. I have nothing Terence Crawford hasn't done anything to me for me to be a hater towards Terence Crawford I'm just giving you my honest opinion I feel like his resume is weak uh, he hasn't fought the competition uh, that you know some of the other guys have I think Errol Spence has fought better opposition although Terence Crawford's achieved more I think he hasn't had the opposition that Spence has had to face right I keep going back to it that Terence Crawford's best win is against a past prime Amir Khan. That's his best win, right? And after that, you got Jeff Horn. You got what? Jeff Horn, Camboa, uh, what? Thomas Delorme, um, Victor Posto, Julius and Dongo, right? These are the. Listen, this is Terence Crawford's resume to get uh, to become undisputed champion. Thomas Delorme, um, Victor Postal and Julius and Dongo. This was his way to becoming an undisputed champion. Right? So far, his welterweight reign, uh, his welterweight, he's fought Jeff Horn, Benavidez, I believe, Amir Khan, and Kavalauskas. That's who he's fought at welterweight. Um, so, for me, personally, I, I think Pacquiao beats him. That's just my honest opinion. On what I've seen so far, I believe Terence Crawford's... I don't think he's got the greatest chin in the world. I think Spence is a massive problem. I think Spence is too big, too strong. And I think he'll he'll absorb Terence Crawford's power. And he'll come back and I think he'll hurt Terence Crawford. Um, and this is not hating on him. If Terence Crawford proves me wrong, I'll put my hand up and say I was wrong. Terence Crawford is special. He's great. But I don't think we can put him in that category yet because he's not He's not proved it yet. He's not proved it against a top welterweight. He's not. And that's not hating. That's just stating facts. He's not fought elite level welterweights yet or elite level fighters in my opinion. He's yet to face stiff competition. His, his resume is very shaky so he until he proves himself i don't think we can put him at that pedestal no let him beat pacquiao let him beat errol spence then we can talk let him beat thurman let him beat danny garcia but until he beats those guys should we be putting him on a pedestal like that i don't think we should that's not hating that's just stating facts that we're putting this guy up there but you know nasim hamed was special until he fought Barrera. Right? And when he fought Barrera, people were like, whoa, there's a lot of holes here. When you fight stiff competition, right, your flaws get expo exposed a lot more. When you're fighting lower level competition, right, your flaws don't get exposed. So, for example, the chin that I think suspect, that I've got a question mark against, Against lower level competition, he may be able to get away with it. He may be able to get hit and hurt by Kavalaskas and get away with it. He may he won't be able to get away with it against Spence. Because Spence isn't gonna let him off the hook. Thurman ain't gonna let him off the hook. This is what I'm trying to say to you people. That for me, Terence Crawford, he's a good fighter. Very good fighter. But I feel he's a little overrated at the minute. Because he's, his competition, his resume doesn't resound with a, with a great fight. Like I said yesterday, Sugar Ray Leonard at the same age as Terence Crawford had fought Marvin Hagler, Thomas Hearns, Roberto Duran and Wilfred Benitez. Now compare that to Sh Terence Crawford's resume. Of course Sugar Ray Leonard is, is going to have some flaws explored in his game. Because he, look at the guys he's fighting, he's fighting monsters. Terence Crawford isn't fighting monsters right now. So, let me see Terence Crawford fight Errol Spence and let me see him dominate Errol Spence. And then we can say, wow, this guy's special, right? But until he does that, 
I don't think we should be putting him on a pedestal. He needs to prove himself. And he hasn't done that in my opinion yet. He hasn't. And when he when he does that, he'll I'll give him credit. I'll give him respect. I've got nothing against Crawford. When he when he I feel that he's gone out there and beaten someone like Errol Spence, being Thurman, I'll put my hand up and give him respect and I'll say I was wrong. I'm I'm happy to say I was wrong. But you can't be putting him on a pedestal where he doesn't belong right now. I don't feel. I feel his resume is weak. Uh, and I feel that his chin's questionable. So until he fights guys like Errol Spence and Keith Thurman and proves us all wrong, or proves some of us wrong, because some of you are his fans, some of you don't, some of you are not his fans that think he is a little overrated, he may prove us wrong. And I'll be the first one to put my hand up and congratulate say Crawford's special. But until then, I don't think we I think we should pump the brakes a little. That's just my opinion. That's not hating. That's just saying it how it is, right? Is that hating? Or is that saying the truth? You know? Because if that if that's what you call hating, then me and you have a different opinion of what hating is. I'm just speaking real right now. When he beats Spence, when he beats Pacquiao, if he can which I don't think he was, I think he loses to both, then he'll get his respect. But until then, I don't think we should be putting him on a pedestal where he really doesn't belong. That's just my honest opinion. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Uh, I'd like to know your opinions and thoughts. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like the, like the video. Um, it helps the algorithm. It helps the channel. Make sure to subscribe. It helps. I know a lot of you that are watching my channel have not subscribed. So please subscribe. Please like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I want to thank you all for me reaching 7,000 subs. I appreciate your support. Guys, as you can probably see from my channel art, I have recently started Patreon and Blogger. Um, if you were to click on this uh, icon here, it will take you to my Patreon page, and I just want to take you through my Patreon page. So I've, at the minute, I've got two options. Hopefully, I will increase this if my Patreon grows. But at the minute, I've got uh, one option, which is $1 a month fan donation, which will obviously help me produce better quality content on YouTube and faster for you guys. And I've got another option of $3 a month for two live streams a week discussing boxing with myself. You guys will get to speak to me face to face. Um, and... I'll take you to my boxing blog. So if you were to click on the, this B sign here, it will take you to my boxing blogs, which is which is this page here. And all you have to do is click on here, and that will take you to my boxing blogs, where you can see all my different articles that I've wrote. So as you can see, I've wrote six articles about different topics. So if you want to click on one of my articles, all you got to do is click on this, and it will take you straight to the article, and you can read it, and you can then go back and read the others if you if you would like. But yeah, guys, I thought I'd just highlight this to you um so make sure to read my articles uh, make sure to subscribe to my patreon if you're interested and guys i thank you for your your support i thank you for me reaching 7000 subs guys i'm out